Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is an incredibly dark drama bordering on horror from Norway, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Jonas Sacklin, and this film is called Lords of Chaos. So Lords of Chaos is a biopic. Uh, how much is true and how much is false, I'm not sure, but it's centred upon a band called Mayhem in Bergen, Norway in the 90s, and this is the birth of Norwegian black metal. So Mayhem consisted of people who were very, very damaged, and they were doing really provocative things in order to stick their middle finger up at society and the norms of society and make a name for themselves. But unfortunately, the inner demons within this band cause things to spill over in a very shocking way. So what happens uh, and what's in store with this band is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Lords of Chaos. This is an incredibly controversial film because as I said this is a biopic and a lot of people say that this movie couldn't be further from the truth and that is something that I can't really you know, comment on. I'm actually reviewing this as a film not how accurate it is to real life events. So please uh, remember that if you come on here bagging me out because I don't know what really happened. Is that ultimately no one knows what really happened except for the people involved on that fateful day. And so I'm not going to give anything away if you know the story, you know exactly how this is going to unfold, but for those of you who don't, I basically go and see the film or read up on the story if you want to know what I am talking about. So this movie, it really divided me to be honest. On one hand, I could appreciate the fact that it was so in your face, that it was very aggressive, that it wasn't making any apologies, but on the other hand, I kind of thought to myself, Jonas Ackland is more concerned about making a shocking horror film as he is to making a respectful biopic. He's actually respecting the people that aren't here anymore. And so I thought it goes down a, very, a little bit of an exploitative route, which I thought if it reined it in and made it into a, an interpretation, that would have been a lot better because of the real life source material that it's depicting itself on. And so this movie says itself is based on truth and lies. And I think that the lies is giving it that creative liberty to make a really shocking horror film. But for me, I just can't help but feel that it was a little bit disrespectful in that regard. So I'll go through the criticisms a little bit later, but what I liked about this movie was the aggression, was the fact that it was provoking that morbid curiosity inside each and every one of us. When we see a car crash or a horrible injury, we don't want to look at it, but the morbid curiosity forces us to look at it. We wish we hadn't, but we have. And so Jonas Ackland, the way that he creates such aggressive material and such shocking material, I couldn't help but watch. And every time I saw the, what had happened, I thought to myself, why did you look? And, but as I said, it's that morbid curiosity, it's that really interesting aspect within each and every one of us that Jonas Ackland manages to create. And that's what creates that really unsettling experience. This is a movie that is the most de bleak, depressing, dark and brutal films that I've seen in a very long time. And that's why I really appreciate it, is that getting that morbid curiosity out there. Not a lot of horror and extreme films do this. But I think Lords of Chaos does it very well. There are three shocking scenes in particular. And each and every one of these scenes are very memorable and all in the wrong ways. But the first scene in particular, I thought it was something that I was not prepared for. Now, I'm a seasoned extreme horror fan, but even these three scenes, and in particular the first scene, it really upset me. It was something that I just thought was way too real. And so it's like almost witnessing these horrible events taking place. And so that, to me, was uh, also a negative. As I said, I'll go into that a little bit later. But I like the fact that it wasn't pulling any punches and the aggressive tone that the film had stayed true to itself, whether it's through the violence, whether it's through the black metal, I just thought the whole film was rebelling against the norms of society, whether it's the norms of the music society or whether it's the norms of movies, I just thought as though the whole film stuck its middle finger up at everybody and it was almost like it was saying, this is who we are and we don't care what anyone else thinks about us and this is ultimately what the band members of Mayhem were like, they were doing horrible things, they were self-harming on stage and this is what's going to get them attention, It was they were burning churches, you know, a lot of blasphemy in this film and that's something that gets you noticed is that in today's world, uh, it, you, you can't gently tap someone on the shoulder to get their attention. You have to hit them with a sledgehammer. And so that's something that I thought the film does very well, is that it does hit you with that sledgehammer. It does force you to get the attention, uh, basically, 
witness these horrible things and it's something that you'll remember. It's something that's going to burn in the memory. And as far as the horror aspect and the creative liberty aspect is concerned, that's what I thought was very impressive about Lords of Chaos. The cinematography was really uh, dirty. It was very shaky. It's, there's no polish on this film whatsoever. And I thought that matched the mentality of these people. You've got Euronymous, who is the main character, one of these band members, the founder of this band, played very well by Rory Culkin. He was uh, against stereotypical tropes as far as upbringing is concerned. This is a deeply unhinged man, but he doesn't. Uh, the director doesn't give you the answers as to why he's this unhinged man. Is that he didn't grow up in an environment that was very abusive, you know, abusive parents, abusive environments. He came from a seemingly normal family, and so it's not giving you the answer as to why he is the way that he is. And that gives you a strong sense of uh, basically being vulnerable is that okay we don't have that safety net as to why that he is the way that he is but he just is and so it's not making that sort of a uh, you know it's not giving you that insight into a damaged person and why that uh, the why he is the way that he is and so that's the the case with all these band members they are very very messed up and so when they start to uh, their inner demons start to take control this is where things spiral down a very very shocking path and so the uh, finale of this movie is uh, very very shocking and so if you don't like extreme graphic violence you're definitely not going to like laws of chaos but ultimately this is where I come into my biggest negative is that's the extreme nature of the violence that I thought was very disrespectful to the real source of uh, the, the material that it was based on and this is where the, the controversy comes into it is a lot of people hated it because they said this didn't happen this way is that this is all false and so I thought in that regard if you're doing a biopic Leaving it up to your interpretation as to what you think happened would have been a lot better, but this movie takes sides. And so I'm not going to give anything away, but it takes sides. It's basically setting in stone what happened on that fateful night, who was at fault and who wasn't. And so I thought as far as a biopic is concerned, is because a lot of people are very touchy about this subject, it would have been a lot better if it didn't show as much as it does. And so it's the interpretation, okay, he did it. Or a lot, another person could watch the film and say, all right, well, there's enough evidence to say that he was innocent. And so I thought that would have been a lot better as opposed to giving you something that borders on borders on exploitative uh, gratuitous violence it's that gratuitous violence is that shocking violence is that violence that is very very extreme that borders on a, a a creative horror film and so i thought that was the most disrespectful sort of aspect of this movie is that okay people in this film that the movie's depicting actually lost their lives and so when you actually have the exploitative nature of the violence there's just a bit of a sour taste in the mouth now i don't you know i am a fan of you know extreme violence and you know really in your face but when you actually uh, it's a biopic it's supposed to be a biopic it's people who actually really went through these types of things when you're actually using it in the excessive way that Jonas Ackland uses it I thought to myself all right well you're kind of going down the path of glorifying that violence as opposed to actually you know giving that interpretation as to what happened I thought the level of mystery would have been a lot better as to setting it in stone and taking sides so that was the biggest criticism of Lords of Chaos I thought it was a very controversial and a very uh, brave uh, topic to actually try and make into a film but I just thought Jonas Ackerman got lost in the horror aspect as opposed to making something that could have been a talking point as far as a biopic is concerned so if this sounds like your kind of thing definitely go out there and see it it's very well made it is incredibly brutal and it's also sad I thought the acting from Rory Culkin as Euronymous was very, very good, and so is the supporting cast. They all do a very good job, and it's just the family dynamics of very damaged people and how they band together against society, but ultimately implode as people themselves. So if this sounds like your thing, I would recommend it. It's definitely not an enjoyable film, but it's a movie that you can appreciate because of how far it goes to provoke that response, and it provokes that morbid curiosity in us as viewers. So overall, for Laws of Chaos, going to give this one three and a half stars. Go out there and see, but be very, very careful. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.